At the age of 14, she mastered the art of baking. Self-taught chef, Refiro Celania, started her food business with just two cups of flour and began selling muffins at a train station. The 2014 MasterChef Top 10 finalist decided to pursue her passion for food and leave her 9-to-5 job when her mother died. Celania took over my kitchen, prepared some mouth-watering meals. Let's take a look. I have the curvaceous chef in my kitchen. It's nice to have you here and I'm, I'm hoping that your skills can impart on me some sort of, I don't know, improve my repertoire in the in, I'm not sure. What do I have to do to you get there? To pay. I have to pay. How do you master cooking and, and getting people to pay? What's the skill there? Obviously, you've got to be good. Yes, you've got to be, be good and then be great because everybody can cook, yes. but then not everyone can be a great cook. I was going to ask you about that. I mean, yeah. so many people cook, a lot of people cook in South Africa. Yes. How do you become great? Um, it's with with respecting your, your ingredients and knowing what to do and when. Like for instance, the dish you're going to make, I know what cooks uh, quicker and what takes longer. And then you clean as you go around your kitchen. So if you're a good, great cook and then you have all those little principles, then you Yes, I always say what a great cook or chef cleans up after them. And we don't we waste the this. We don't uh, waste. If I use half of this carrot, we put it in the fridge for the stew. Right. We don't throw away food. You see, I'm not very good at that. And then you've got to throw everything away in the bin, but you turn it into something yeah. else. Yeah, when you use your egg white, you take your yolk, you put it in the fridge, and then you make your pasta the next day. We say it. And what herbs and spices and food should every kitchen have? Salt and pepper. That's the basic of any dish that you can make. And then you can go to your rosemary's, your parsley's. Um, you grow as you go along and then your coriander seeds, your cumin, um, as much as we love our pumpkins and butternuts, we need to infuse it with different herbs and spices. What is so the best thing on we can We can always have our butternut with the cinnamon. Yes. The next day you must just Guilty. take your butternut, <laughs> yeah. put it in the oven with the parmesan and rosemary. Oh. You're good to oh, go. That sounds delicious. Yes. And then to acquire these skills, mm -hmm. what do you have to do? Is it time in the kitchen? Is it looking through recipe books or is it just going out on your own and experimenting? Someone will say passion, but I believe it's discipline. If, if you love what you do, you'll be disciplined to know that I need to learn further. For instance, I don't like seafood, but I can cook seafood for you. Mm. So um, it, it's only discipline. I cannot and have a client you and... cook something that you don't like? <laughs> <laughs> if your client requires me to, I have to. But you find it yeah. hard. Do yeah. Yeah. I don't like seafood, but I cook it. Do you think you maybe miss out on the, the perfect flavor if you don't if you don't like it that much? No. 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 You got that done. If if, if if a fish has omega three, I can have it on my supplements. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can go for my supplements. And, and you say you learn, and then there's discipline, and you learnt at an early age from my mother's kitchen. Baby. Yes. And yeah, she loved to bake, she loved to cook. But her first love was baking. We always had your 12,5 um, flowers at home mm -hmm. because she used to bake each and every week. Uh, yeah. And what sort of things? Um, we don't do your scones. We, we bake sponges, your puddings, but I've, I've grown from that. Yes, yeah. So I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me the difference between baking and cooking because there are two different arts, aren't there? Sciences. Um, when we cook, it's all about taste. When we bake, it's all about the measurement. Like for instance, if you say to me, Rufile, please give me a recipe for a vanilla sponge cake. How did you do this? If you've tasted my stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I just mixed and then I threw them in the, in the, in the oven. It's a lie. Yeah. With baking, it's strictly measurements. Precise, huh? If it says one teaspoon baking powder, it's one teaspoon baking powder. So, so our local cooking is falling by the wayside, our traditional cooking. Because we're trying to adapt the French and the Italian cuisine. And why? I mean, why aren't we proud of what we have and using the ingredients I'm and not, the knowledge? I'm not sure, but I try by all means, if I host events and stuff, I serve South African food in a different way. Like, for instance, we had an event and our starter was chicken feet, but then with um, Asian flavors. Mm. So we could, and I, I, I mean, the restaurants have successfully mastered that blended, the, the fusion of mm -hmm. South African food and, and all sorts of others. Yes. What is your favorite South African food? I'm Tuana, so it should be Ding and Mokhod. 
a what is that? <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> it really isn't a quiet test, is it? It's I've good. tried it and I, it wasn't as bad as I, I expected it to be. But, but it's meat, it's, it's from a cow. Yeah, it's so more psychological. We don't waste, we eat everything. Okay. And tell us about what you're cooking for us today. Um, we're going to make Ceylon, story, uh, Ceylon steak with greens wrapped in bacon, a salad, and mashed potato. And you just can't beat steak and mashed potato. No, you can't. It's like mm -mm. a perfect combo. Yes, it is, with a sauce, red and, wine sauce. And your aspiration and your, do you have a mentor? Is there somebody you look other than your mom? I mean, is there someone now that you look to who you think is super creative and can add to the cooking world? Sadly, um, the people that I look up to are not in the culinary field. Right. Like, for instance, my friend, um, Mam Kheti Paking and Dalsi Rakumako, she's a doctor. I look up to those because if you start um, from coming to university and then you start with the one surgery and then now you have three or four, mm. for me, growth inspires me. So yeah. I take my strength from those two. Okay, that's a good point, growth. When do you take the leap? When do you expand your business? Um, I cannot say when. But I think with me, it went with the market and the clientele. The more the demand is out there, the more I put something on a plate and mm -hmm. market. Like for instance, now we've added um, uh, kids packages for kids parties. If you have a party, we have a cake, your plates, everything in the works. So we're just not gonna give you a cake. So you like to go to clients? What about opening restaurants in the future? And uh -uh. running that sort of concern, or is it just too complicated? With my core business, it's online. Mm. You order online, you pay me, and then you get your product. Mm. I don't want traffic. No. Somebody coming in and sitting and consulting and all of that. Mm. No, so I work with my phone 24-7. What do you think is one of the hardest dishes? I made a souffle the other day, and I was talking to one of my colleagues who said that it's probably one of the hardest. I mean, I was, I was, I was broken by the time I finished it. <laughs> But I think that's more because of the, you know, the, the whipping. But is there is there something that's particularly hard and tricky that you struggle with? Um, currently no, but uh, baking it's tricky because um, with the different methods that we use when we bake, people don't understand that because some recipes they will require you to cream, some others will will require you to start with the dry ingredients and then the other it's wet ingredients. Mm. So as soon as you know the basics, it's fine. Mm. Right, so where are we going to see you in 10 years' time? Um, I think I'll be transporting cakes from Jovek to Durban. Oh, why Durban? Why not? Durban, Cape Town, Limpopo. I want to go yeah. take the <laughs> South Africa, the whole of South Africa. Well, we look forward to you taking yeah. our store. I can hear the puppies there. They probably can smell the food and they're desperate <laughs> to try it if I leave them in. <laughs> yeah, so let's cook. Let's cook. Show us your chopping skills. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we're making a sauce now, mm -hmm. it's a red wine sauce, so we're starting with our onion and then we're cooking it in butter because if you use olive oil for the sauce it's going to split. Remember oil and water don't mix. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is something that would happen in MasterChef at your peril, right? You just forget something so crucial. Yes. <laughs> And they're like, you didn't add onions at the beginning, like I've added them. Yeah, so that's what happens. So in the meantime, while our onion is still cooking, we need to prepare our garlic because we can't put them both together at the same time because this has more sugar than an onion. So it's going to burn in the beginning and then we're going to have a bitter taste. Um, now I'm just going to prepare the green beans. Mm -hmm. We need to cook them for six minutes yeah. because we still need to retain the color. And then we're going to shock them in cold water to stop them cooking. Yes. Yeah. And then they go straight to the oven until our bacon is crispy and nice. Okay, this we're going to use it as part of our salad and a garnish. Because now, and one of the important things when you cook, you need to have color. That's me. Mm -hmm. You need to have something green on your plate, you need to have something crunchy on your plate, and then you have you need to have a protein. White plate. Yes. Yes. In the meantime you can season that for me with salt and pepper, a bit of olive oil. The timer. Okay. 
precious on the one button ever. <laughs> <laughs> It's in your kitchen, that means it's yours. Mm -hmm. I grabbed it off the shelf for you. <laughs> <laughs> because the refiller was coming through. Yeah, oh, oh God. God. <clears throat> you see how they look. Beautiful. Good colors, eh? Yes. That's the most. And you don't cut off the ends? So you no. Don't no. No, you don't cut off both ends. Mm, just one. Only, only one, yeah. Wrap it in bacon. And then just um, cover it with honey and then we put it in the oven and that's it. Um, the trick with a good steak, mm -hmm. your pan needs to be hot. Yes. Four bacons. Just yes. How's that? Yes, that's nice. As long as it's secured. Yeah, no. It's a... No, no, no. The honey. <laughs> If you don't want to use maple syrup, you can use brown sugar. If you don't want to use brown sugar, you use honey. Mm -hmm. As long as you know that it's going to caramelize in the oven, that's it. Ten minutes. You know I love my timer. Yes, it's good. <laughs> yeah, because it's that's some, something you need. Yeah, sometimes you forget. Mm. Beautiful. Oh, and another picture. A little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. That it will be juicy. I'm um, do you have a tin foil for us because we need to cover this and let it rest. Yes. So you just need to rest it. Just cover that for me. Get a foil. The sauce is done. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, I see what you need. Um, we're waiting for greens, and in the meantime, we can mash our potatoes. And what do you put in with potatoes? Uh, with, with us, we're just gonna put butter, a bit of milk, baking powder, because it's gonna make it, remember, when you have your scones, they need to be fluffy. Mm. So the baking powder still plays the same role with the, with the potatoes. They're gonna be fluffy. Yeah. Oh. See? So you can add your own potato, mm -hmm. spice, and let them. Your parsley. Then your timer went off. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Looks nice, eh? Nice. So I'd like us to clear our table because we're going to dish out. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. Very ready for it. 
Yeah, you should be ready because you helped me. I'm exhausting. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you didn't help me. <laughs> I'm up for hire, by the way. No, no, thank you. <laughs> Any, um, any work at all? Yeah. No, I, I've got my people. Um, Rejected me too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's stay here. I'm just gonna rest it on the side. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah, the so importance of resting our meat as it's all big. three tablespoons. Mm. Just remember we eat first with our eyes. Yeah. Because um, if you see a picture, you like, I want to have that dish. Show the camera. Mm -hmm. This is what we can cut. Yeah. You can tuck in and judge me for the second time after Master Chef. Yes. <laughs> and I need to do it the way they do the master. The way the master leads over. <laughs> and they're like, all the elements are coming together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Mm. Nice is an understatement. <laughs> it's delicious. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. <laughs> 